Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we'll be learning about how we can actually gain unlimited resources by changing the memory address in a computer, particularly when you're playing the computer game. So it could be any computer game. And in our case today, in this tutorial, we would have Total War Three Kingdoms. So it could be any games that you're playing right now and you can change the capital, you can change the value, you can change the different kind of attributes of your characters and so on. So what we need now is that I can actually go ahead and for example, start a new game or a new campaign. So in this case, I'm just going to quickly demonstrate to you how it works. So all you got to do on the left side, as you can see, we have cheat engine. So double click on cheat engine. So you have a pop up user account control, go ahead and click yes. And once you have it here, you would see this blinking icon on cheat engine 7.1. So go ahead and click on select a process to open. And we would have total war three kingdoms. So select the computer game that you're playing that you want to change the value. Okay, so go ahead and click open. All right, so we would have a first scan that we want to run to find the specific value inside the memory. Okay, so going back into the computer game, all right, I'm gonna skip the introduction because the tutorial is about how we can change specific value. And in this case, we're gonna change the treasury value. So on the top left side, we can see the treasury. So treasury right now is at $8,000 exactly. So what we can do is go back to cheat engine and we can go ahead and conduct our first scan. So I can enter 8,000 and click on first scan. So scan through the entire memory inside this process to find any $8,000 value, okay? So going back into the computer game, so I can click on, for example, the item here, and I can click on an upgrade, and this upgrade will cost us $2,000. So I go ahead and click on that. And if you notice on the top left corner, we now have $6,000 in our treasury. So we have used up $2,000. So going back into cheat engine, now I will do a next scan. So I'll enter 6,000 because that is the new value that is being reflected. So go ahead and click on next scan, all right? And once we do that, we will see that there are four addresses that are being found. Okay, so this list shows all the addresses that matched your last scan. All right, so from the previous scan result of $8,000, so those changes will then now be reflected on the next scan. All right, so go ahead and click on this red arrow button. It's copy all selected items to the address list. So go ahead and click on that. And on the last address, all right, so I can double click on the last address, double click on the value tab, the value column, double click on it. So what value to change this to? So I can actually change this to, for example, $9,000. So go ahead and enter 9,000, all right? Click OK, and if you notice, all right, there is a change, right? We were not able to actually complete the change. So there is a part of the address that allow us to do the change, but it's not this one. So I can go ahead and click under the first row, double click on it, enter 9,000, click OK, and now we see that there is a plus 9,000. All right, so in this particular address, we're able to add those amount of change, the value that we have specified in the address. So this could give us any kind of unlimited attributes. It could be your different kind of character details. It could be the amount of money you have and so on and so forth. All right, so give it a try. Let me know how it goes by leaving a comment below of your effort and your tryouts and see whether you get those results that you want. All right, so I, again, I hope you learned something valuable. So remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.